Old and gay, the thing they can't repel. The rider of the free will that will send them to hell. It's all you crave, so drink from Irish well. And learn that all you need now is your FNFAL. Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. The past month or so since my birthday was very successful for my podcast. I now have over 19k views from 41 different countries. And last I checked, 122 subscribers. I really hope that this video here will help me get to 20k views and so forth. So, thank you everyone across the world, once again. And, uh, yeah, this is my, uh, my new character, uh, data video, because I haven't done it in over a month, and I feel like I have to do these two characters a favor by finally introducing those two characters to you guys. So, I really hope it's worth it, in the long run. You know, satisfaction is a necessity. These two characters are from a, a planet called Prehistora, which is populated by two kinds of creatures. Talking prehistoric animals, or human prehistoric animal hybrids. I'm going to introduce the first one here, and I hope you love it. At all, you know? Argentine. Real name, inapplicable. Length, 177 feet. Weight, 37 tons. Status, hero, an ally of Terence, who is a T-Rex variation that lives in Prehistora. Base, Prehistora, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, innocent and willful. She'll do anything to protect the innocents. Lethality, only during, only during a fight or by accident. Weaknesses, gunpowder and stab wounds. Powers. She's an Argentinosaurus that could speak English, which, by the way, is the second largest long-necked dinosaur to date. She has great strength, is skilled at defeating opponents by surprise, and has a prehensile tail used as a whip, rope, or limb. She can also use a variety of weapons to fight via her tail. Eyes, light green. Hair, none. Origin. In the planet Prehistora, Argentine is a female warrior who's simply a talking Argentinosaurus, which is one of the largest dinosaurs to date. Since she was a calf, she always wanted to fight chaos to protect all innocent life. When she met the heroic Terence and his ally known as Alon, who is Allosaurus themed, Argentine helped them fight against the Spinosaurus-esque Spiker and his band of followers. Since then, Argentine would do all that's needed to defend her greatest allies and others from nearly all forms of chaos. Costume. She wears a series of steel prehistorian armor. Team solitary with Terence and other heroes. Or inspiration, the Argentinosaurus. Here's the other character, also native to Prehistora. Arson. Real name, inapplicable. Length, 7 feet. Weight, 3,500 pounds. Status, hero, an ally of Terence. Base, Prehistora, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, woeful and somewhat charming. He'll always help both Terence and Rhino with nearly any problem that happens to manifest. Rhino, by the way, is a rhinoceros with the mind of a person. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, gunpowder, and stab wounds. Powers, he possesses all the powers of an Arsino Ethereum, including great strength, great speed, sharp horns, and being a fast swimmer. His height is tough enough to survive a series of tank shells. He can also speak English. By the way, an Arsino Ethereum, as an educational thing, is picture a rhinoceros that lived during like the age of prehistoric mammals. But instead of its horns like this, its horns were equal size, side by side like this, and above it on the top of his head are two giraffe-like horns. So basically picture it like that, you know? Just to give you an understanding of what he looks like. Eyes light brown, hair none. Origin. In the planet Prehistora, 
Arson is a talking Arsenotherium that enjoys protecting the innocent. One day he was transported via the portal system of Portal to the default Earth, where he had the where he had to help the heroes Rhino and Rhino Girl with a Washington DC attack from Toro, who is basically the modern day Cretan Bull. And after some struggling, the trio had successfully saved the US Capitol from Toro. Nowadays, Arson would also help heroes from other worlds and has a love-hate relationship with Rhino Girl, who is the sister of Rhino and basically has Rhino-themed capabilities, even though she's not even an animal hybrid. But she does wear a Rhino-esque suit, which gives her her powers. You know? Costume? None. Team Solitary, with Terrence and other heroes. Original inspiration? The Arsino Ethereum. I apologize if I was like, having some hard time communicating and such, I am just really excited for any level of glory in the future, and it's all thanks to you guys. I really hope those two characters were worth it for you guys, because it's been over a month since the last time I did this. So I apologize in advance if I fail to do so for an extended period of time for things in the future as well. Just, I'm just saying, you know? So... Thank you, everyone, from 41 different countries across the world. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys have a decent rest of the month and such. Hopefully, I'll go to Hogel Zoo and Fanex, which those videos should be worth it for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. In transmission. Old and gay, the thing they can't repel. The rider of the free will that will send them to hell. It's all you crave, so drink from Irish well. And learn that all you need now is your FNFAL.